Riley. second throw to first safe so Miller steps on second white is out four unassisted and Wilmus reaching on the fielder's now choice two outs now to Kayla Kreiser courtesy runner Delton Davis in the play Davis actually was running for Wilma, so he scored the run in the second. First pitch to Caleb is in the dirt, back to the screen, and Davis will take second base in a wild pitch. Spoofons have had a base runner in every inning. They bat here in the fourth with a 3 0 lead. Baxter's 1 0 to Kreisinger. Taken for ball two up high. Two 0 pitch. Foul back. And another ball caught in the fence. Second one today. What are the odds? 2 1 pitch. Foul tips. 2 and 2. Delta Davis at second base running for Cade Wilmus. Two outs in the fourth. Out of play. Earlier the normal start time than a normal 4.30 start time. Chopper to third. Wagers throws to first. Side retired. Caleb is out 5-3. Spoofhounds are out in the fourth. No runs. One hit. No errors. They leave one more. The Spoofhounds have now stranded five. We've completed four. four Very good. Completed. Spoofhound Athletic Boosters would like to thank tonight's Athletic oh, Business Boosters, United Fiber, Zimmerman Hauling, and Midland Surveying okay. for being proud supporters of our Spoofhound Athletics. Please remember to shop local merchants who support Spoofhound Athletes. Stop by our booster concession stand and pick up a snack and drink. These ain't no gifts, Jim. I dropped out of school, I'm still getting mad, but they don't taste me. I pray to the Lord. Fifth inning we go, Maryville, Wyatt, with the 
three nothing lead on Chillicothe. Bottom third of the Hornet order against Trey Houch and Bransgard, Hanson, and Wagers. Bransgard struck out in the second. One of four strikeouts for Trey Houchin. There's a swing and a fly ball to left. Caleb Kreisinger back on it to make the catch. One pitch, one out in the fifth. Now the designated hitter, Gabe Hansen. Designated hitter, number 10, Gabe Hansen. Hansen also struck out in the third. Houchin's pitch. Oh, one pitch. That plunked him on the shoulder. That's a second HBP for Trey today. As Hanson will take first now for now Tucker and Wagers. Number five, third baseman, Tucker Wager. Wagers singled in the third. Houchin with the pitch as Wager shows bunt now. Houchin will step off. First pitch to Wagers. Goes to first. Now Houchin's pitch. Inside, ball good one. Pitch, good pitch. One oh pitch. Ground ball to second. Patton fumbles. And he has no play. Now back Wagers pitcher, reach on the air Mason four, so Hornets Baxter. have runners at first and second. One out now for Mason Baxter, the pitcher. Struck out in the first and walked in the third. For the second time today, the Hornets have two runners on base in an inning. Houchin's pitch is outside for a ball. Good pitch, good pitch. One oh pitch. Now they throw behind the runner as the ball gets away from Patton. Not far enough though for the runner to advance. That time Adam Patton was scurrying behind the runner at second base, uh, Gabe Hansen. Trey's throw was off a bit to the first base side of second, went off Patton's glove and floated near the fringe of the grass meets the infield, but Hansen stayed put. 1-0 pitch in the dirt, 2-0. Top of the fifth, Maryville leads 3-0. Hornets trying to get some runs home here. 2-0 pitch. Slow grounder up the third baseline goes foul. Two and one. Depending on how the seedings go, Maryville could see this Chillicothe team in districts. Two and one. Inside ball three, actually correct myself. So the copy is not in very just disappearing district 15, district 16. Three balls, one strike here is Trey in danger of walking Baxter to load the bases. And a liner in the right, base hit. That's gonna get past 
Green thrown into the fence. That'll get one run in. That'll get two runs in. As Hanson scores. And Wager scores. And it's a 2-1 triple for Mason Baxter. Makes it a 3-2 Maryville lead. Baxter just opposite field hitting. Hit it right down the right field line and passed Brady Farn. And that ball went to the fence. That was an easy two-run triple for Mason Baxter. Next, we've got a game. Now batting center fielder, number one, Griff Bonderer. Still one out, and Griff Bonderer can tie the game here. Swing and a miss. Ball gets away from Farnett, but it was a foul. Strike one. One pitch. Liner to the soft liner to the second baseman, Pat, who makes the catch. Two outs now to Brock Ward. Now batting for the Hornets. Catcher, number 13, Brock Ward. Rounded out to second and third. He's 0 for 2. Strike one. That triple by Mason Baxter, just the second hit today for Chillicothe, but a productive second hit. Got two runs in. 0-1, oh, popped up right side. Brady Farnan goes and chasing in foul territory, makes the catch. Hornets are down in the fifth, but they get two runs on one hit, one error. And they leave one man on base. Go to the two, bottom of the fifth. It's now Maryville three, three. Chillicothe two on 97 won the bill. Mason Baxter, one of those two runs was unearned. Leading off As the bottom of the reaching fifth. Third baseman, error, number 25. Fielding error by Anna Patton. Cooper. So two runs, one Low. by Houchin in that yeah. fifth inning. Three to two is Mary Gold. Set up Cooper Low, Connor Weiss, and Connor Drake. Cooper doubled and scored in the first inning. Struck out in the second. He takes inside ball one. One zero pitch, line to second base as Miller makes the shoestring catch for out number one. Now batting center fielder number four, Connor Weiss. For Connor Weiss walking first and reached on an air for the third. Both teams have committed one error. First pitch to Connor, strike one.
0-1 pitch. Swing and a miss. O2 pitch. Now Baxter comes set with the pitch. Ground ball to short. Throws to first by Lemer. Two down. Looks like, sounded like Connor got that off the handle. So two up, two down in the fifth for Maryville. Now to Connor Drake is. Mason Baxter now trying to set the move out down in order for the first Connor. time of the day. How's have had a base Drake. runner in every inning. Connor Drake singled home a run in the first. He takes strike one. And he grounded out to short in the third. He's one for two. Oh, one pitch. Foul, third base side. Strike two. Baxter's 0 2 pitch. Takes outside. Does Connor Drake. One and two. One two pitch. Line softly to the third baseman. Wagers and the Hounds are down in order in the fifth. After five complete. Maryville three, Chillicothe two on 97 won the bill. Second baseman and was caught looking in the fourth. Trey Houchin comes set with the pitch. Strike one. Oh, one pitch. Strike two. Breaking pitch nicely thrown by Trey. He's quickly ahead of the Hornets' first baseman, Landon Winder. 0-2 pitch. Lined in the left. That's trouble in the gap. And that's going to get to the fence. Winder is going to get to second base with a leadoff double. Now he's going to try for third. Now we're going to get back to second base as there's nobody to cover. The ball kind of got away on the 
the cutoff throw from the outfield with Connor Weiss and Caleb Kreisinger. Widener went halfway to third and then went back to second base as there was no speed on back to second to cover. So it's a leadoff double for Winder. And Chillicothe has the tying run in scoring position to lead off the sixth for Gage Lemer. He gets hit. Trey's had some control issues. That ball ran in on Lemer and got Second him right base, in the rib cage. Brock Miller. So now runners at first and second will get a visit to the mound with two out with nobody out here in the sixth. Now the Hornets have three shots here to tie the game or take the lead in the sixth, trailing at three to two. Brock Miller will bat here. Miller was hit by a pitch in the second and grounded out to third in the fourth. Looks like we'll get a pitching change here. Adam Pat will be the new Maryville pitcher. We'll take a timeout. Adam Patton to pitch for Maryville. Spoof has lead it three to two in the sixth on 97 won the bill. For Maryville base. is Adam Patton, and Trey Houchin will take second base. It's a simple pitcher for second base defensive switch. Hornets have runners at first and second. Nobody out in the sixth, trailing it three to two to Brock Miller. Here's a chopper up the middle. That's going to get through for a base hit. And here comes a runner around third base. Throw over to the plate, cut off by Lowe, tied at three. Single by Brock Miller scores Landon Winder and Lemur takes second base. That run charge to Left Trey Couch. Number 12, Wyatt Bransgard. Now Wyatt Bransgard is Chillicothe is rallied for two in the fifth, one in the sixth to tie the game at three. Bransgard is 0 for 2. Strikeout and a fly out to left. Patton's pitch, swung on and missed. Oh, one pitch. Line to short, nice scoop there by Connor Drake. Runs to second for one, throws to first wildly past the bag, and that'll give Chillicothe the lead. Well, Connor made a great play, a little short hop at short, ran to the bag and himself for the out, then threw wildly to first. As Lemur scores the go-ahead run, and Chillicothe now leads it four to three. So Bransgard will get an RBI. Or we will not get an RBI. He'll be at second base on the air six. Gabe Hansen now bats for Chillicothe. I think they call a ball. So 
Patton got called for a balk as now Bransgard stands at third base. So he's at third base now with one out and two run in. Patton throws that one in the dirt. Ball two. And that gets, uh, gets uh, Hanson in the back. And that's the fourth hit by pitch for Maryville pitching today. And that's the second time Hanson has been hit in as many at bats. Now batting third baseman, number five, Tucker Wager. So now runners at the corners for Chillicothe for Tucker Wagers. Chillicothe a two run fifth, two run sixth. They've taken a 4 3 lead as Maryville trying to. Beat this Hornet team for a third time this year. Patton checks Hanson, now comes set to Wagers. Showing bunt, offers and misses for strike one. Runner to second base. Wilman won't make it. Wilmus won't make a throw. Hanson steals it. Hornets now runners at second and third. One out in the sixth. One and one to Tucker Wagers in the pitch. He fouls it back for strike two. One two pitch. Inside. High. Two two. Two two pitch. And that hits him. Breaking pitch away from Patton and Wagers is hit. Patton loads to Mason. Mason Baxter. For Mason Baxter. Trey Houchin has hit three, and Adam Patton has now hit two batters. Pitch to Baxter. Strike one. Baxter tripled home the first two runs for Chillicothe in the fifth. One of those runs were unearned. Oh, one pitch. Fly ball. Well hit to right center. Barnett giving chase. He's got it. Runner from Cooper is going to tag it. Down the line, he will score on the sacrifice fly. My Baxter is 5 3 now in favor of Chile. White Ransgard scores the fifth run. Two run fifth, now a three run sixth now for Chillicothe. Now batting center fielder, number five, one, Griff Bunderer. Griff Bonderer will now bat. Takes outside for a ball. One oh pitch. pitch misses inside 2-2 two, two. Okay, 
Two two pitch in the dirt. Now three and two. Two outs here in the top of the six, and Chillicothe leads at five three. Patton comes set here to Bonderer. Will step off and chase the runner back to second base. Gabe Hansen. Full count pitch. Popped up on the infield. Trey Houchin says he has it. And he does for the final out. Chillicothe, three runs on two hits, one error. They lead two. Bottom six we go. Chillicothe, five. Maryville, three on 97. Won the mill. Through five and a half. Chillicothe, five. Maryville, three. It was 1989. My thoughts were short. My hair was long. Caught somewhere between a boy and man. Time today, five to three. Trey Houch and Adam Patton, and Trey swings the first pitch. And soft liner past the shortstop Lemur into left field for a base hit. So Trey singles to lead off the sixth. Houch and Patton, Dylan White, pitcher, six, number seven, eleven, eight, Adam hitters Patton for Maryville. Smoothbound's got one in the first, two in the second. Patton, a single run scored and two at bats. Mason Baxter steps off briefly, peeks at Houchin. The pitch. And the dirt gets away. Trey will get to second base. Wild pitch. Spoofhounds have a runner in scoring position here in the six, down by two. One ball, no strikes to the now pitcher, Adam Pat. One zero -oh pitch, taken for a ball. Two zero, strike one. Mason Baxter asking for a different baseball. Two one pitch to Patton. Off speed, stays high. Balls and a strike. And the pitch. All four. The Spoon Pounds have their first two runners aboard here in the sixth. Dylan White. 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 Dylan Coach Joshua Ty Lyle decides he's going to ask for the ball. So we'll get a Chillicothe pitching change here. We'll see who they hand the ball off to. As 
Hornets lead it by a score of five to three. Looks like Brock Ward. It'll be Brock Ward. Or Griff Bonderer, I think, is pitching. The center fielder, Griff Bonderer, will pitch here for Chillicothe. So pitching change here. Spoof on have runners at first and second. Nobody out in the sixth. They trail it 5-3 on 97 won the bill. Okay. Number five, Tucker Wager goes out to the center. White. I just look at my wrist, I got time today. Get them crossing the line today. Back here to the sixth inning. Maryville trails at 5 3. Runners at first and second for Dylan White. He shows bunt and bunts and foul at the first the baseline. Hornets. Now pitching Griff Bonderer. Mason Baxter moves to second base. Brock Miller to third. And Tucker Wagers to center field. Griff Bonderer now pitching now for the Hornets. Mason Baxter goes from pitcher to second. The 0-1 pitch misses to White, 1-1. One one. Brock Miller goes from second to third, and Tucker Wagers goes from third to center. That'll be a test later. 1-1 one, one pitch, bunt, attack. Foul, one and two. Spoofons have a chance to tie this game here after the Hornets took the lead with a three-run sixth. Bonderer comes set, one, two. This is outside ball two, two and two. Two pitch in the dirt, all the way back to the screen. A free base for Trey Houchin and then Adam Patton. On the wild pitch. So now a single by White could tie the game. Three balls, two strikes. The pitch in the dirt for ball four. Bufants have loaded the bases with nobody out of the sixth. We'll get a batter from Brady Farnan. Number 28, Court Watkins. It'll be Court Watkins who had a couple of hits in yesterday's game. What you know about City. rolling down in the deep when your brain goes numb, you can call that mental freeze when these people talk too much. So Court, a chance to tie the game here. Bases loaded, nobody out of the sixth. Pitch by Bonderer is in there for strike one. Oh, one pitch. Misses ball one, one and one. One, one pitch. Ball two. Spoofons trying to score for the first time since the second inning where they got one in the first and two in the second. They've 
low to the bases here in the sixth with nobody out. Single and a couple of walks. Houchin at third, Pat at second, White at first. Chopper to third, they'll come home for the force out, and that's all they'll get. So Watkins rounds into the 5-2 force out as Houchin is out of the North. Now batting catcher number one, Cade Wilman. Base is still loaded for Cade Wilmus. Pitched by Bonderer. This is for a ball. Line uh, down the right field. Throw to the plate, and he is going to be out. <laughs> so the Spoofhounds get it tied on the double by Cade Wilmus. Scores Adam Patton and Dylan White, and Court Watkins is out 9 4 2. Game is tied at, game is tied at 5. Now batting left fielder number 3, Kayla. With the go-ahead run, two outs in the sixth. Caleb Kreisinger, ground ball at the middle. That's a base hit. Here comes Davis around third. The throw, now he's going to stop. As the center fielder, Wagers, got to the ball quickly. Now batting for the Hounds, and number Willis 25, it third baseman, stops at Cooper. Third on the single by Kreisinger. There's Cooper Lowe, 5-5 five, five game, bottom six. Pitch to Cooper Lowe. There goes a runner to second base, no throw as Kreisinger will steal it. Strike one to low. Take strike two, 0 and two. O2 pitch. And Cooper swings and misses, he's down on strikes, so Pounds get it tied on a two-run double by Cade Wilmus. Two runs on three hits, no errors, Hounds leave two, Maryville's now stranded seven. After six, we are all tied at five on 97 won the bill. Through six innings, Hounds five, Hornets five. Now batting, number 23, first baseman, Landon 
Winder. Variable led 3-0 into the fifth inning before Chillicothe scored two in the fifth, took the lead with three in the sixth. Maryville answers with two in the bottom of the sixth. And a strike call to Landon Winder. The Hornets try to reach. Oh, one one pitch to Winder. Swing and a miss, strike two. That is the fifth hit of the day for Chillicothe. Five runs, five hits. They've committed one error and they've stranded six. 0-2 to Winder. Swing and a miss, and down on strikes. Out of Gage Lemur. Now about the spoof have number three, five runs. Lemur on nine hits. They've committed two errors and stranded seven. First pitch here to Gage Lemur. Gets away from Wilmus. There goes a the runner to second base. The throw to third is not in time. So the Hornets have a runner at third, one out. 1 0 count to Lemur. off the throwing error by Dylan White getting to second base. Fielder's choice RBI for Lemur. The score now one is third baseman Chillicothe retakes the lead Miller. six to five. Runner at second one on out for Brock Miller. Pat's pitch. hit by pitches of score. 2-0 pitch. Foul back. Two and one. That ball got a Honda. Two one pitch. Lined in the center, and Weiss makes the catch. Two outs now to Wyatt Bransgard. Now batting number 12, left fielder Wyatt Bransgard. So the Hornets were held scoreless through four, but they've gotten two in the fifth, three in the sixth, and now one in the seventh. Patton's pitch to Bransgard. <coughs> Strike one. Wyatt Bransgard officially 0 for 3 today. With a run scored. Patton's 0 1 pitch. Misses 1 and 1. Right 
Swing and a miss. Strike two. One two pitch by Patton. Swung in a miss. And the Hornets are out in the seventh, but they take the lead. A run on a hit, an error, and one left. Bottom seven we go. Spouts need a run. We have a run to tie to win. Trailing at 6 5 on 97. Fielder number four, Connor White. Singles and he's out. Now batting shortstop number 15, Connor Drake. Here's Connor Drake. Strike one. Oh, one pitch in the dirt, one and one. One one pitch, strike two cold. One two pitch to Drake. Stays high. Two and two. Two pitch, the dirt. Second baseman, number five, and Trey Howard. Runner at first, bottom seven, spoof house trail it. Six five as Trey takes strike one. Oh, 
0-1. Oh, one. One, one and one. One one pitch. Outside cover strike two called oh, one and two. <laughs> one two pitch. Foul back. Stays one and two. Spookbounds took a 3 0 lead into the fifth inning before Chillicothe starts scoring their runs. Liner into center field is going to fall for a base hit. And now the ball is fumbled as Connor Drake's going to go to third base. The throw to third is late and on the play. Trey Houchin takes second. So Houchin singles. Drake goes to third on the play. Now the throw is to third. Trey Houchin takes second. Yeah. 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 Tying and uh, and pitcher, number 11, Adam. In scoring position. Patton. One out for Adam Patton. Strike one. <laughs> one out, bottom seven. Spoofounds. Base hit here could walk it off. Fly ball. Left field, this could get it tied. Ransgard makes the catch. Runner comes down the line, we're tied. As Drake scores the tying run on the second fly by Adam Patton. And it's a 7-7 game. Now Trey House in the second base, and it's up to Dylan White to get him there. Did I say 5-5? I said 7-7, okay. It's 6-6. I'll get the score right. We're tied at six. Now batting, first baseman, number 23, Dylan White. Dylan White has a I single look and my three attacks. Time and and a single here. Don't come here line and line and the be so real, the love be fake. Be bumping they goals and Pitch, Dylan fouls it off, first base side. No balls, two strikes to White. Bonderous pitch, Houchin's gonna go for third. Liner to second base game. So we're gonna play extra innings again. Two fouls get a run. On two hits, no errors. They leave one to the eighth in a 6 6 game on 97 1 the bill. Through seven complete, ball game side at six. That also means the concession stand remains open, so be sure to hit them up.
we go now to the eighth inning, tied at six. Gabe Hansen deleted off here for Chillicothe against Adam Patton. Ball one misses, one and oh. One one pitch in the dirt outside, two and one. Chillicothe bats here in the eighth. We're tied at six. Two one pitch. Misses ball three. Baxter tripled in the first two Chillicothe runs in the fifth inning. And then he drove home a run in the sixth with a sacrifice fly. Three RBI today for Baxter. 3-1 pitch. And he takes ball four. When it's now runners at first and second, one out for Griff Bonderer, who's now Now batting pitching. pitcher, number one, Griff Bonderer. Bonderer, 0 for 4, he reached on a fielder's choice in the third. There's a couple of line outs to second base. First pitch to Bonderer, shows butt, offers and misses for strike one. Second, top of the eighth, 6-6 six, six game. 0-1 oh, pitch to Bonderer. Patton offers and Bonderer lines it foul. Third base side, 0-2. Oh, we were on time for our get the let out last night. We will not be on time tonight. 0-2 oh, pitch. Soft liner to second, short hop by Houch and flips it to second for one to first. For two. Nicely done by the speaker on infield as Houch and short hop that soft liner, flipped it to Connor Drake and fired it to Dylan White for the 4 6 3 double play. No runs, no hits, no errors, and one left. Bottom eight we go. Six six tie on 97. Two 0 
pitch. Strike one. Two one pitch outside. Three and one. Coming up on a two hour mark of this game. Let's switch to four thirty two. Three one. Swing and a miss. Full count. Three two pitch. Strike three call outside corner. So Brady is out on strikes for the third time today. Now Kate Wilmus, a couple of hits, a single, a double each, driving in runs, ball one. One out, chopper foul, third base side, one and one. One one pitch. Foul, first base side. One two. One two pitch. Ground ball to third. And two wickets. Out the third baseman. That's Rock Miller. Now batter, number three, left fielder, Caleb Freisinger. Caleb Freisinger. <laughs> Caleb has a single and a double today. He's two for four. The ball gets away from the catcher, and Cade Wilmus will get to second base on the pass ball. Browns have the winning run now in scoring position. Two opportunities. Kreisinger and Cooper Lowe. One and nothing to Kreisinger. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. One one. One one pitch. In the dirt. Stop by the catcher ward. Two and one. Two one pitch. Softly hit to the Baxter. Four three and on the play, Willis takes third. Going to the ninth inning. Now batting, third baseman, number 25, Coop Curlow.
Defensive changes for Before the Warriors. Maryville scored a, two Moving runs in the bottom the of the sixth to tie the game at five, and both teams Laundry exchanged room, runs in the seventh. Cooper Lowe right set to bat here for Maryville. Maryville with uh, six runs on 11 hits, two errors, and they've stranded eight. Copy. Six runs, five hits, one error. They stranded eight. Ward comes set with the pitch. Strike one. Oh, one pitch. Outside corner, strike two call. Oh, two pitch. Down on strikes. Well, in the inning, we go to the ninth and the sixth. Saying he did not go around. Okay, okay, he did not go around. One two pitch. Fouls it off. First base side. Still one and two. See if Cooper can take advantage of getting a reprieve. One two pitch. And the throw to break out call. We go to the ninth in a 6 6 tie and 97 won the bill. I have no idea what that was. against Adam Patton in the night. Takes ball one. Patton's 1-0 pitch. Swing and a miss. 1-1. One, one. One one pitch in the dirt. Two and one. Chillicothe with just five hits, but they've been hit by a pitch six times today. Swing and a miss. Two and two. Two pitch, check swing, the umpire says yes, strike three call. Ward is down on strikes, no 
Landon Winder. Now batting first baseman, number 23, Landon Winder. Strike three called. Winder is one for four today. A couple of strikeouts, a double of run scored. First pitch to Winder. He goes the other way to right, pops it up in foul territory, and Dylan White gives it a chase. Strike one. One pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Adam Patton's 0 2 pitch. Swing and a miss. For strike three. Back to back strikeouts for Adam Patton, the warden winder. Winder's now struck out three times today. Now batting shortstop, number three, Gage Lehmer. The have struck out a total of eight Hornet batters. Now here's Gage Lehmer. First pitch misses inside. Lehmer is 0 for 3 today. He was hit by a pitch, drove in a run, and scored a run. Now to Brock Miller. Now batting third baseman, number 24, Brock Miller. Miller, one of the six hit by pitch victims today. Single, drove in a run in the sixth, officially one for three. First pitch by Patton is outside for a ball. Patton's 1-0 pitch. Here goes a runner to second base. Ball is inside and it pops out of Cade Wilmus's glove as he tried to gather him to his throwing hand. So Lemur steals it. Two outs here in the ninth. And a 2-0 pitch to Brock Miller. Patton's 2-0 pitch. And the dirt is stopped by Willis. He can leave her at second. Three and nothing now. Game tied at six. Patton's pitch. Chopper to third. Cooper low. We'll just have to step on third. In the end. No runs. One hit. No errors. Two left. Bottom nine we go. Six six. A 97 won the bill. Can be the mom. Oh, oh, oh. One pipe goes and get a 
Leading off bottom of the ninth inning for the Hounds, center fielder number four, Connor White. Somebody, why don't you know? Oh, we're pitching and have a little fun. Get my land and get my gun. Bottom nine we go, tied at six. Connor Weiss to lead it off to the Spoof Hounds. He takes strike one from Ward. pitch low three three one pitch miss ball four on a wise cross lead off walker in the ninth now batting shortstop number 15 Connor Drake they're the end of that the fourth block today it's by a different kind of cloth that we're cut from. Fifth block to let a color show where the numbers are, where the paint, where the rain is supposed to be. Off a walk in the seventh, single home run in the first inning. Connor Weiss draws a throw first. to Drake is high. One ball, no strikes. Spoof Hounds trying to walk it off here in the ninth. Game tied at six. 1-0 pitch to Drake. He's there to strike it up. One one pitch. There goes a runner to second base. Pitches a ball. Throw to second is not in time. As Connor Weiss steals it. Two balls and a strike to Connor Drake. Weiss at second base with the winning run. Two one pitch. Two. Ward comes set 2-2 two, two to Connor Drake. Pitch. Inside. Full count. Connor had to duck out of that way, that pitch. Three two pitch. Chopped foul. Count remains three and two. Spoofhounds have 11 hits today on their six runs. A couple of errors. Stranded nine. Full count pitch to Drake. Round ball to short. That's past the shortstop. Into the center field. And that base hit the game. The winning run. And that's a base hit to single. Great ball walking off in nine innings by the score of seven to six, scoring a run and a hit. No errors, they leave one. 
And the final score, Maryville wins it by the score of seven to six in nine innings. Final line score for the Spoof Hounds, seven runs, 12 hits, two errors. They stranded 10. Chillicothe, six runs, six hits, one error. And they stranded 10. So the Spoof Hounds get the three-game sweep of the Hornets this year, winning at the Pony Express Tournament, winning at the Chillicothe Invite, and winning here in conference play today. So the final score again, Maryville wins it in nine, seven to six. We're back on the air Thursday at four, just before four at St. Pius. So until then, John Sparks, I'm Jim.